Sedona is a good example of the um, natural gate. She's barefoot. She was bred well. She's had a generator. Um, and so she's got a very nice natural gait. But going downhill, she can get a little pacey. And when she's loose, she um, paces her trot. I see it's getting windy, so you might not be able to hear me. Let's get her head down before we give her a break. Um, so if they can pace and trot when they're loose and gait, still when you go downhill, some of them will get pacey and some of them will get um, trotty. So you might have to slow down or speed up to make it smooth. And so now we're going to show you her canter. And it's hard in this arena because I always say it's uneven. so windy when I'm trying to give you information so uh, what you should know when you're looking at these gated horses is they're all different speeds just like trotting horses are all different speeds so she's kind of in the medium area she's not super slow she's not super fast but she can move out uh, she doesn't have a really large stride uh, so she might struggle if she was with some really big walking horses or she might try to canter uh, to keep up with them if you're looking at these, I'm going to get closer. If you're, uh, you want what? Oh, you want a cookie while she waits. Okay, she says she'd be very good if she had a cookie. So, um, when you're looking at these horses, look at their feet. You'll see a lot that are um, trained in their gait by their feet. Their feet are longer or they have a little bit heavier shoe on and a lot of you will buy them and not know that there's a big difference and you chop their feet down, change their shoes, the horse isn't gating anymore because again they were trained to gate with that shoe and that length and then that's what the horse is used to so they need to be retrained to gate with a shorter foot. Some of them um, are very naturally gated and you'll be lucky you might do those things and the horse is fine or you pull its shoes and it's fine but not all of them are like that so these are for those people who've done that and now your horse is not gating it's just pacing or trotting if you're getting into these horses what I always tell people is if, if you buy a horse from somebody and it has long feet in the beginning just stay with the long feet uh, if it has a heavy shoe keep the heavy shoe until you have a clue what's going on and how safe the horse is and all of that. It's hard to be um, trying to figure out its gait, trying to control the horse and do all these things. I try to recommend people do that ahead of time, but I know a lot of people don't. They just buy the horse and it shows up and it's got these big long feet or big heavy shoes on. So not the worst thing. It's much more, it's much worse to have a dangerous horse. So if it shows up with long feet, whatever, you're going to learn how to get it to gait. Um, with shorter feet if you want to. That's what I would recommend. But in the beginning, I would uh, have your shoer come out, look at the horse's feet when it arrives. This is how it came, it gates well like this. I want you to um, continue to shoe it like this until I find a trainer to help me to gate it or I learn um, how to gate it without that uh, long foot or heavy shoe. 
So know your angles. They have a goniometer. I don't know what the horseshoes call it, but that's what we call it in the medical field. And they can measure the angle that the horse's foot is at and just keep that until you know what you're doing. But again, if the horse arrives, you take off the heavy shoes, you put a short foot on it, you change the angle, you're changing a lot for that horse and it's used to going one way and now it has to um, learn to go a whole new way and it's gonna take time to get there. Um, and so I think they agree as well. They all say, just wait, give them a chance, get um, used to the horse and then over time you can start changing its shoeing if you need to or to go barefoot if you want to. Do you want another cookie? She was very good. Should we give her another little cookie? So. Sedona is special and not everybody will have, you know, a naturally gated horse like her. Um, I hope you all do but uh, a lot of people won't. So just know that when you're looking at the horses, try to look at everything. You can freeze the frames, look at the horse's foot or ask for pictures of his feet or shoes. And then you know going in if you're gonna have to um, do something with this horse to get it to gate or it already knows how to gate naturally. All right.